Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations Lepacy Challenge. Um, the last episode is literally like the most fun I've had recording this series in a very, very long time. Um, we experienced so, so many new things that came just with uh, Generations because of Bridget's age up to a child and one of which will be a field trip so um field trips came with generations as I just mentioned and we will have her she will be going on one tomorrow so that'll be super fun to explore what that's all about oh and uh more things that happened in the last episode probably should be a little bit more on that Elvira Schlick who is Megan's mother and is not, ha not happily married because they've definitely been having trouble. We've gotten messages from story progression saying that they've been arguing and so forth. Um, but she was like, we were trying to, you know, kind of woo her because Jupiter just got resurrected. You know, he's back from the dead and he, he wants a little, he wants a little action. So he was trying it with Elvira, but Elvira was like super resilient and was like not giving in to his, to his flirts. And I think she... I mean, they have 10 out of 10 attraction. So how often is it in your guys' games that you have two sims that find them each other 10 out of 10 attractive and they don't, like one sim doesn't give into the flirt because that rarely, if ever, happens to me. So I truly believe in my heart that Elvira, uh, she knew, like she was like, I am not... I am not getting with Soleil's dad. Like, that's just weird. That's just disgusting. That's just wrong. So, good for you, Elvira. You didn't have a, 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 you know, ruin your marriage by having an affair. Although, there's something to be said about vampires. I feel like they are, in general, not monogamous in the slightest because they live forever. They, I feel like they rarely ever find their true, you know, partner, that sort of thing. Like, they're always, uh... They're, they're always, you know, playing the field, surfing around, seeing what there is to see, um, you know, not holding themselves down. Although, they might, they might marry, but I feel like they pretty much, in like popular literature and films and stuff, they pretty much always have open relationships. Minus Twilight. Twilight is the exception to that. But if you guys have ever seen True Blood, it was like a show on HBO like 10 years ago. The vampires in that show are so promiscuous. Like, they very rarely ever hold themselves down so anyway uh moving on from that it looks like little bridget is just hanging out with her mom she does want to become best friends with her mom which i thought was so cute so we're probably gonna have her ask her mom for some homework help once she interacts with her a little bit and look at that bridget wants to sign up for an after school activity which indeed comes with generations if my children sims get this wish i usually always have them do it because I just think it's so fun. These after school activi activities are so fun and even more fun when the, when the children age up to teenagers. I just feel like they get so many more opportunities and stuff. So, oh, she's level three. Celebrity, oh, level two now. Okay. I guess it's because her mom has celebrity star. And look, she wants lifestyle, the rich and famous. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. That's a, that's a late night lifetime wish or yeah lifetime wish so not very fun one to do either it's kind of hard honestly so i mean i don't have a problem with the with the lifetime wish being hard it's just not even related to like anything we're doing so i don't really want to do it but she's best friends with mom now which is nice i'm gonna lock in sign up for after school activity and after her mom helps her with homework if she are you not gonna okay there we go um we're gonna have little Bridget sign up for an after school activity that we can start to explore that. Oh, this is so adorable. I wish Soleil was here so we could record this. Damn it. He's like, he's over at Drinks at Diamondback trying to make a little bit of money uh, because I spent all of our cash on renovating the house. I spent 23,000 simoleons renovating the entire house, which don't ask me how I managed to spend that much money. I don't even know. Um, the money just kind of went. And I know a few episodes ago I said that I was going to do all my renovations on camera. 
I just wasn't sure if you guys enjoyed them. Um, I kind of just went ahead and did the whole entire living room and kitchen area off camera and it wasn't even off camera. I have intentions of starting a Sims podcast eventually and I recorded me talking- me doing live commentary as I'm renovating the house. I just didn't think- I was really scatterbrained in it so if you guys still want to see it, uh, let me know. Oh my gosh! She just used the not so routine machine and she went somewhere. What? Where did she like is teleported? She went back to I'm so confused. Oh, she went to work. Oh, she was in Oh, that is so smart of her. She used the not so she used our not so routine machine to go over to um work. That's such a good idea. She really got the most out of us. Well, now it's broken. So I guess we can have Sully come over and just try to repair it. I hope he doesn't get electrocuted or anything. That would be quite bad. Also, this toilet is broken, I think. So I'll have him try and unclog that. And he's just going to be repairing everything today, isn't he? He's going to be repairing the toilet and a not-so-routine machine. So I hope he can get both done. She's eating some, uh, some baked angel food cake for dinner, it appears. Hope you enjoy enjoy oh there's a sim stuck i can feel it because my game is like being laggy i feel a sim being stuck i hope story progression not story progression i hope overwatch and ross overwatch uh fixes it relatively soon because i hate the lag man i hate the lag let's see who is it oh i didn't get a message all right whatever anyway everyone in their mother is hitting on jupiter right now at work i don't know quite why but i'll just i'll roll with it and look at that he repaired the toilet I'm hoping he's able to do the not so routine machine. Please don't get electrocuted. I'm going to be devastated if you die. All right. Well, moving on from that, um, I'm going to fix the bed situation right now. So first of all, let's have her come over and sign up for, she could do art club, scouting, ballet, or study club. I think study club and Art Club are from Enros Careers Mod, and Ballet and Scouting are from Base uh, Base Game Generations. So I'm gonna have her come over and register for Ballet because I don't think they let females in Scouting in IR IRL. As of recording this video, I think it's just limited to men. So I don't want to break, you know, I don't want to break reality for myself. Uh, I could be wrong about that. I think Girl Scouts is the female equivalent of scouting. I mean, we could just call it Girl Scouts, but ballet is really cute because they like they learn ballet moves and then they can like show them off. Whereas scouting, I think they just learn like fishing skill and stuff. And of course, they have the scouting outfit. So uh, I guess I guess I like. She wants to now be a creature robot crossbreeder, which is so cute because that's what her mom is. That's what her mom's job is. That's actually really adorable. I like that a lot. All right, with that said, uh, we're gonna have Jupiter come over and sleep over here. Now, I was gonna renovate this room so it would be <laughs> not a kid's bedroom. I, I, would, I was gonna renovate it to be a spare bedroom and then slice this down the middle right here and create an office space and possibly delete this bathroom because it's not necessary. Like, we have one, two, three, four bathrooms currently. We could probably do with one less. I don't think it's it's quite necessary. Uh, we just don't have enough Sims. Oh, they're kissing each other. How cute! Oh, and he Soleil did end up repairing the not so routine not so routine machine. So I'm proud of you, Soleil. I'm proud of you. Sadly, Emmy Irwin's unpopularity has not. Okay. Poor Cricket Irwin. She broke up with Aro last episode, according to story progression. How sad is that, guys? How sad is that? Are right, you two are tired. Go to bed. I had you woohoo last night, so I don't feel I don't feel bad uh, not having the woohoo tonight because they did it last night. So you guys are okay. Watch Argos Sinclair. We do need the logic skill for the imaginary friend toy, which I'm hoping this next baby that Megan has will have the imaginary friends uh because for some reason bridget didn't get it i think it's because i actually don't know maybe it's because of when we moved in the house or 
I don't know, I'm having some glitches with this town. Like, for example, the biggest one thus far has been Soleil not being able to be a babysitter. I mean, he wanted to quit anyway, and honestly, he only reached level two. And then he had a wish to join polit the politics in the last episode. So towards like the middle-ish, end-ish of last episode, I had him go ahead and join the politics career political career sorry i think this is really good for him actually because he already has max charisma and in the process of working your way up in the politics political career sorry you need friends like you need to become friends with people so he already has that situated honestly so uh yeah he got a phone call and didn't pick it up through the night whatever you snooze you lose i guess I don't know who I'm saying that to, the person calling Soleil or Soleil himself, I don't know. This bathroom needs a renovation, for sure, for sure, for sure, but I don't have the funds to do so, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not renovate it. Um, we'll have her come outside and pay the bills, they're like 900, oh wait, is that 900 simoleons? I thought it said 500 at first, but no, that's just a double five at the end, so. She can go outside and pay them. She is so pregnant. She's definitely going to give birth in this episode. I am hoping they have a boy. Um, they both want a boy. And I think it'd be so cute for Bridget to have like a little brother. I don't know. I just really like the idea of that. So I hope that they are able to go and do that. Uh, in the meantime, we'll have Megan come and recycle the newspapers. And today is going to be Soleil's first day at work. I'm sure he is very excited. He's starting work on a Friday, which is honestly, like, really lucky. How many people do you know that start work on a Friday? Because I don't know very many. In the meantime, let's have Jupiter. I really want- he wants to pillow fight with Evelyn. And I want to complete that wish for him, don't get me wrong. I'm going to have him call her a bunch of times on the phone. She's probably going to complain it's too early, because I think 6 a.m. is when you start- when they'll, when they'll pick up the phone yeah so 6 a.m is when they'll start picking up the phone so i hope that i hope i think it's 6 a.m it could be 7 i might be wrong uh okay she picked up perfect perfect okay so we're just gonna have them chat a little bit i'm trying to get them out of the red because they are current like you see how quick that phone call was because obviously their relationship is in the red which is very bad very bad for them um i'm i'm not about that i don't i don't want them to be mad at each other i want them to be together i want them to be nice to each other we're gonna have megan put in a guarding oh he for he got something radical reparium sorry i'm not in the mood to chat with you right now are you serious oh, she is so pissed at her husband like I'm just gonna have her- I've never gotten that message before. I'm not in the mood to call you right now. I've never gotten that before. She must really be pissed off at, uh, Jupiter, but I'm gonna have him just- Persistence is key, right? Persistence is key. He's just gonna keep on calling her and calling her and calling her. Oh. Oh, he's angry. Why are you angry? Why- why are you pointing? Okay, just keep calling. Just keep calling her, please. I don't want to- I don't want you to- stop calling or just keep going sorry i'm not in the mood to chat with you okay just keep going persistence is key i'm telling you jupiter i'm telling you megan's carpool is coming in an hour i'm gonna have her go and head to work on the not so routine machine um would you please stop bugging me i don't want to talk right now <laughs> oh my god okay try and invite her over dude persistence persistence jupiter persistence my guy i don't think i want to spend any time with you right now evelyn is not having it she is really not having it um i'm gonna have i'm just gonna have him go and eat i was gonna have him use the not so routine machine but i don't think it's worth waiting in line after evelyn sorry megan oh He's trying to get ready and go to work as well. Just wait your turn, dude. I'll let you use it. Just wait your turn. Just wait your turn. She does not have ballet today. She does it Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. I wish I could adjust it for every single day of the week. I think that'd actually be really helpful. It was every single day. Stop. Just wait. Wait your turn. She'll be done in literally a second. 
literally a second. Okay, there we go. Now I can go annoy her. Uh, so now she's gonna spin out of control and uh, head off to work. There she goes. She's gonna get there super early, like super duper early, like an hour early, which is actually really nice because when she does that, she actually gets a performance boost with her coworkers. So she's probably gonna be really friendly with the people she works with, which is good. I like that. Um, he might be a little bit late actually. Nah, he won't. He won't be late. He just has to eat. The game will just make him eat and then they'll teleport him away. They shouldn't try and make him shower. I think his hygiene is too full for them to force him to shower, so. Alright, have fun with your not-so-routine machine. Hopefully he makes it. Oh, the game is having him shower. Okay, well he's gonna be late then, I think. I mean, possibly. He will spawn right in front of the doors of the city hall because he is in the po political career. So, convince technology is good to five sims. No, I'm not doing that. That's too many sims. Yeah, he's gonna be like, yeah, like a couple minutes late. So, not too bad. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna have creepy ass Jupiter hunt down his ex-wife. <laughs> he, she needs to get a restraining order. Like, she needs a restraining order against this man because he is fucking creepy. Let me tell you, let me tell you, where does Evelyn live? Uh, am I missing something? I think she lives in that house where it said that Manny's not available. Let's wait outside her house. That's that's what I've decided to go and do. You're gonna come over here. And why are you nauseous? Oh, I forget he's vegetarian. Is he still vegetarian? Yeah, he's still vegetarian. I guess he had tofu turkey. I'm pretty sure that was tofu turkey at least. Okay. Uh, so Lay at work is gonna meet his coworkers just so I can have him have some friends. I don't know. Seems a little bit silly to have him run errands or like propose new course of action because his charisma is already full. I just I just want him to know people so we can like invite them to parties and stuff. It's always a nice thing. Okay, creepy ass so uh, Jupiter coming over to wait outside Evelyn's house. I think Evelyn lives here still. I'm almost certain she does. Let's see, guys. Yes, she does. I knew it. I just cheated. Yes. Don't come at me, though. Um, I, we're gonna pretend that his daughter, Manny, let him know on the phone, oh yeah, I still live with mom at so-and-so address. <laughs> Uh, so the game is gonna try to kick him from this lot. Like, it'll keep prompting him to go home because they don't want you loitering outside of someone else's house. Okay, now he's chatting with Darlene. Are you having an affair with Darlene? Miss Darlene Dreamer, who isn't actually Darlene Dreamer yet. Yet. I swear I'm gonna get- by the end of this, I'm going to have- I'm gonna set the record straight and Darren and Darlene are going to be an item. I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get them together. Okay, Evelyn, where are- just Evelyn- no, Evelyn retired. So where is this bitch all day long? Oh. 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 Oh, fuck you across the street. Really? You got my hopes up for no goddamn reason. Um, Evelyn, let me stalk you, please. Let me stalk you. There is actually a- oh shit, you know what? It comes with Supernatural. It's called the Instant Friends Potion, I think. A oh, one hour. Okay, so she'll be out of wherever she is in one hour, apparently. Um, so <laughs> Jupiter's gonna go throw up on her front doorstep. Okay, I get it. You're busy. Throw Yeah, throw up on her front doorstep. That'll, that'll teach her, right? That'll teach her. That'll teach her to come home quicker when you're waiting. He's literally doing it on her front door- like- literally throwing up on her are you fucking kidding me you're throwing up on your ex-wife's doorstep are you serious <laughs> perfectly perfectly in front of the front door all right and then just chat with this woman that you're probably gonna have an affair with okay yeah that's that's how you get your ex-wife back take a couple tips from jupiter guys that's definitely how you get your ex-wife back well there's something else for him to do but just sit here and wait for her to come home. I don't know. 
Um, Megan Bell's scientific expertise has attracted the military enough to offer her a job. The offered position is flight officer job five in the military career. Should Megan? No, she's level six in, in the science. Why would she downgrade to military? I mean, I guess it's like, she doesn't really care about what job she has, but Megan herself had a wish to join the science career, so I'm going to take that as a, as means that she wants to she wants to be a scientist and not in the uh, military, so. Okay, where the fuck is Evelyn? And also, I totally forgot that she is going on a field trip. Yes, so this is this comes with generations. Um you should look at these periodically. And basically, uh, it's just a rabbit hole, but your sim, your children and your teen sims can get like souvenirs and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. I like this a lot. And then you'll get, occasionally you'll get pop-ups. If your sim is a, is rebellious, if they have the rebellious trait, then they'll be bad on the field trip and you'll get that. It'll say like, so-and-so, don't touch that. Or so-and-so, don't grab that skull. Or so-and-so, don't. You know, stuff like that if your sim is rebellious, but we don't have any- we don't have any little rebels with us, so thus far. We will definitely have a rebellious child, though, for sure. Faux show, faux show, so we'll just have to wait a little bit. Uh, but Soleil Mal's all his co-workers, so I'm just gonna have him go over and chat with them. Where the fuck is Evelyn? Like, bitch, we've been waiting here all day by your front door. I mean, I guess this is kind of Jupiter's fault. He's just being a creep. But he needs to call his wife and be like, Honey, please come over. I want you back. I'm so sorry I ever let you go. Oh my gosh, she's home. She's home. She's home. She's home. Oh, put that skull down, Bridget. I mean, Bridget isn't uh, rebellious, but these you can get these messages from like any, for any sim. But I feel like they occur more with rebellious sims. I'm pretty sure that's intentional as well. Um, anyway, okay, so here they are, guys. These two which have not been together since late night. Story progression tore them apart <laughs> for some reason. I don't know how they could do that to me. Um, oh, also, Elder Sims, if you guys didn't know this, stop trying to use the fucking bathroom, dude. You, you waited this long for your ex-wife to come home and then you just go in to go use the bathroom? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Uh, Elder Sim- Did she already get another promotion? Holy fuck! You know what I think it is? Her using the not so routine machine and coming home super duper um, early. I think that's or coming to work super duper early. Sorry, that's what does. That's what is doing it. So Megan got yet another promotion. She just got a promotion yesterday. Oh Jesus, she's not liking this. Okay, backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. Pray, praise her, praise her, praise her, please. And then go and use the toilet. Okay. So she got promoted to genetic resequencer. It's time to step in line as genetic resequencer. Clients pay top simoleon to discover new genes to bottle and sell to new customers or to customers. It's a lucrative industry filled with discovery, intrigue, and fashionable genes. Fantastic. And Megan paid 20 simoleons for a taxi. I didn't mention it, but I installed that taxi mod that I was talking about a couple episodes ago. Um, it just makes sense that you'd have to pay for a taxi. Like, it doesn't- why would you not pay for a taxi in The Sims? I mean, in real life, I mean. So, why shouldn't you have to pay for it in The Sims? You know what I mean? So- oh shit, he has work in an hour. Fuck, I forgot he had work. Damn it, dude. Okay, just hang out with her a little bit more. At least their relationship isn't in the red anymore. And he is one step closer, guys, to getting back with his ex-wife. Um, that he has been with for literally many, many years. Like, they have so much history together, I can't believe he just let her go like that. How could story progression do me so dirty? I worked so hard for these two to be an item in my late night leprosy. And the story progression just tears them apart like that? Are you fucking kidding me, story progression? Anyway, <laughs> Jupiter's gonna head over to the uh, music building. He's gonna be late, I think. Okay, don't talk about- just go to work. Fuck. <laughs> he has braids for some- I don't know why he keeps having braids, dude. You're bald. He's fucking bald and he has braids when he goes to work. Like, are you wearing a wig? Where- I- I can't even- I must be a wig. It's gotta be a wig. It can't. 
how the fuck is he braiding his bald ass head? I don't know, but it's a, it's a fucking mystery, guys. Anyways, uh, so, so I paid for a taxi, of course. He earned, like, literally nothing at work because he's only level one. Um, oh, and Bridget got a souvenir from her trip at the, uh, science, not science, mausoleum and cavernous adventure. Exploring that mausoleum was utterly terrifying and a total adrenaline rush. When can we go back? Perfect. I'm, I'm happy for you, girl. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give this car fuck he put it outside he parked it outside so nobody can take the car now because he has it over here kind of annoying he just does a real jupiter just does a really good job at like pissing me off all the time i don't he, he, I don't, he just does it so perfectly it's just weird <gasps> um i should have kept up with my messages um because i am such an idiot so i was waiting to go through these messages and apparently uh megan oh i didn't even get a labor message that's okay well fucking where's so just get i get it but i i don't even know what is this death flower oh my god doesn't if you plant that like doesn't it kill someone i don't know okay get your ass over she's gonna have the ba she had the baby in the fucking garage she had the baby in the garage the baby was born in the garage, guys. In the fucking garage. Are you see? That was un unintentional. Okay. So, we need- So, I talked about this before when we had Bridget, but I'm gonna start doing an alphabetical naming system. Um, so, we started off with A, which was Aro, and he was not really born in this season, but kind of born in this season, so I took his name for being an A name. And we have Bridget, of course, and then now we're at uh, letter C. So let's look up boy names that starts with C. So we have like basic names like Carter, Christian, Cameron, Carson, Chase. Um, Soleil has a really unique name. I really like his name. Um, I came up with it just out of my ass. I don't really know. And then we have Megan, which is like the most basic name in the in the book so i want to do a name that's like not too common for boys but like at the same time maybe you've gone to school with a boy with this name something like that like the, a boy that you don't really know but at the same time like you've heard it a couple times oh chad <laughs> no not chad oh, caspian Ooh, kane Clay. I know a Kane. It's like my mom's best friend's son's name is Kane. Cullen. That's kind of a cool. And wow, Megan. I mean, she's not a vampire anymore. So like Edward Cullen, you know, from like Twilight. He would be, he would have been a vampire, but okay. Um, Christopher. I don't know what name. Cash. Colt. Colt from Ninety Day Fiance. Yes, guys, you heard it here. I don't know what the fuck kind of name I want. Camden, I keep saying Camden over and over again on these websites. Cairo, like in Egypt, I love that name, Cairo. Uh, Colt, Clayton, Connor, Collins, Cannon. Should I, if I had a boy, what would I name him? If I, you know, if I, like, letter C name? Um, first of all, I probably wouldn't pick the letter C for my baby's name. Sorry, my chair just, like, creaked for the lab. Cassidy's a boy name? interesting chance che cecil like the cecil hotel it's a very haunted hotel in in uh in hollywood i think it is or los angeles if not in hollywood cortez conan cord c-o-r-d cord wow you know what kaylin that's kind of a girl name though i feel like kaylin c-a-e-l-a-n kaylin it's kind of a girl name kaylee c oh that's not c-a-l-e-e-y kaylee spelled like that carly carol where are i'm spending way too much time on this like this is a fucking sim this doesn't matter um you know what i have a co-worker at work her name is casey and there's casey in um degrassi which i've been watching a lot lately so casey it is guys casey is going to be our little rebel uh He's going to be too cool for school. He's going to be our little re rebellious guy. So he's going to have the rebellious trait. 
and he's also going to have um see he's rebellious but he's not mean-spirited he's gonna have a good he's gonna be like a class clown like the rebellious kind of class clown and here she is having her fucking baby in the garage this was a this was a big mistake i can't even get him in there to record a video like oh she's having a baby yep well this is the first at-home birth we've had <laughs> um is that it? Only one baby? Sadly, only one. Why do you have- See Bridget age up well. She has like a lot more days till she age- I don't even know why she has that wish. Okay guys, well, I feel like that was a little bit more- It's a little bit better than uh, going all the way over to the hospital, right? It was eventful. I spent like four minutes, five minutes trying to find a name for this damn baby. Um, but all, you know, all in all, in the end, it worked out. Damn, she, now she wants to be a world announcer. This girl is so ambitious. I, I appreciate that she's that ambitious, you know? Now she's doing her homework. Why don't you ask your dad to help you out? That'd be cute. Oh, she can't, I don't think. No, she can't. I guess she has to do it when, you know, we have the homework clicked on. I still can't believe. Baby in the garage. That should be the name of this episode. Baby born in the garage. And also, stop trying to slide on the damn slide. She wants to woohoo with her husband, so uh, I'll have her do that right now. I don't. I don't really need to um, cancel any wish because if I do it right now, it should be. We should be quick enough to have her woohoo. She literally just popped a baby out of herself, and now she wants to woohoo with her husband. Like, please tell me the line of thinking. <laughs> please let me know the. The, the reasoning why did why did you popping on a baby make you want to do it with your husband i i don't know and i don't really want to think about it all that much so all right yeah you're excited i get it i get it you have a beautiful wife that you're about to get a little get a little freaky with here so have fun there oh shit one of her opportunities expired because i just forget to do them all the time Megan received an invitation. Stop! Where the fuck are you trying to go? Get his ass back on the bed, please and thank you. So I just captured the memory of having a baby. Um, I actually didn't capture it on film, but okay, whatever. Megan captured the memory of having a baby. And Jupiter just became a gr Dude! Did, did the game forget that Bridget exists? I don't understand. I really don't understand. Okay. Whatever. Apparently Bridget doesn't doesn't exist in this world because Jupiter just became a grandparent for the first time. I don't know. Maybe it's because when no Bridget was alive, or he was alive when Bridget was born. So I don't quite know what happened there. Anyway, she completed her wish of woohooing with her husband. So I'm gonna have her get up. I'm gonna have him get up too. You know what? Fuck it. It's a Friday night. Let's have the family do a little do a little family get together. I mean, they just woohooed and all, but we can still have every damn. They are running fucking fast. I'm gonna have him f or have her form a group. Oh, meter high club, mile high or meter high. It's all the same, right? It's not about the height of the bet ground, but the level of the voyage. Perfect. I love that. All right, well, I'm gonna have everyone form a group and then we're gonna ask Bridget. Oh shit, I can't because she's a child. She can't join the group. That's so weird. Well, whatever. I'll just, um, I'll just like do visit Bistro with Bridget and then that'll fix the problem. Okay, so we're gonna go. Oh wait, no, it won't because she's not in the group. Fuck. Well, I guess it's gonna be a date then. It's good. You know what? It's a fucking date. They don't need- Bridget don't need to come. She can eat the baked angel food cake in the fridge. Okay, I'm gonna have him flirt with his wife so we can uh, bump this bump this up to a, to a date and not just a form group thing, you know? Okay, there we go. So they are now on a date and now we're gonna have them head over to the bistro together, uh, eat here with date, and then we're gonna have to call a babysitter, which is fine. We have enough money to hire a babysitter, so- I'm not stressed out about that. It must suck for Jupiter though, because he's got to work till 9.30 on a Friday, so that's kind of sad. Anyway, they're going to go over to the bistro. Have a good time, guys. Oh, I'm zooming over to Jupiter. Didn't actually mean to click him like that. I hope they get, they take the car, because I don't want to pay for no taxi. I think they're stuck. Y'all, please. Please, change your clothes. Hurry up. Um what what francis and evelyn 
This is just fucking gross. Oh man. This is Megan's This is Megan's Francis is Megan's little brother and Francis is dating Evelyn, which is Soleil's mom. What the fuck am I even witnessing right now? This is as bad as Jupiter pursuing Elvira, who is Megan's mom. What the fuck am I a witness to right now? Please, please. This is like incest, but like not blood incest. Like weird... It's not incestual, but it's like still weird, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm I'm fucking disgusted. I don't want no part of this right now. Alright, following the leader. Go and have your date, guys. Um I'm highly she's eating cereal but she wasn't supposed to eat cereal. Oh my god. Whatever. Okay. So babysitter's here, Iris. That's such a pretty name. Oh my god, Iris. Oh, is she pretty? Wait, hold up. Is she pretty? Um, no. Pan away. I don't see nothing. I did not see her face in my house. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, Bridges can go use the toilet because she needs to. It's a Friday night. She should have, I should have, like, had her invite some friends over or something. Um, she does know some Sims from school, so. She knows Georgia. Georgia's a cute name. I like the name. Georgia Barrett. Oh my god! Barrett is Darren Dreamer's son. Call him up on the phone. Invite his ass over. I, you know what? Just don't even try to call him. Just invite his ass over. Um, yeah. She didn't even flush the toilet. You nasty. Okay. So, please come over. No. Okay. Be a hoe. I'm gonna just have her call him on the phone and then invite him over like that. Cause he don't. He doesn't want to come over. So, I'll just do it the hard way. Just chat with. Oh, Jupiter got a promotion. Good job, Jupiter. He's talent music scout now. Uh, he's coming home, so the babysitter should leave at that point. He can be like the, the, uh, you know what? No, he's not coming home. He's gonna go stalk his ex-wife <laughs> again. He's stalking at his ex-wife. Oh, Jesus. And you know what? She's even home. That's the worst part is she's fucking home right now, so... He's like, he's like, it's free, it's free property. Like, it's, it's free. I can stalk you because it's free. You're home, so you're just inviting yourself to, to be stalked. <laughs> All right, well, Jupiter does want to, you know, be friendly with his wife again. Um, he wants to pillow fight with her, which I'm taking as he wants to, you know, that's code word for him wanting to get it in, if you guys get what I mean, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Can these guys even do anything? It's a Friday night. I feel like they should, like, there's no movie that they can go to. Let's see what they can do. I'm trying to think. Where's the stadium? Oh, it's over here. Okay, is there a game? No game. But there's literally nothing for them to do. I need to, like, change when the fucking game has uh like concerts and shit because i really feel like there should be more concerts like can i not add more concerts there's probably a mod out there that makes it like trigger game <gasps> trigger game there we go. Attend game with date. Perfect. All right. Well, it's a fry. That doesn't feel cheaty to me. That does not feel cheaty to me because why is there not a football game or a baseball game or anything like that on a Friday night? That just don't seem right to me. So they're going to go ahead over there. Uh, am I going to pay 20 simoleons for it? Why didn't you guys just take the taxi together? I guess it's because the mod I have installed. Okay. I know you're dating Francis who is disgustingly Megan's little brother um but you guys need to you guys need to get back together because I'm not okay with you guys not being together like I worked so hard in my generation's leprosy to get these two together oh she's not into it sorry I don't Barrett's being an asshole you know what instead of having her call him on the phone I'm gonna have her come over and chat with him on the computer uh and then that'll you know, I won't have to keep re the action because that's really annoying. Oh, now we're being amusing. We went from being 
boring to now we're being amusing with Evelyn. I just don't know. She won't make up her mind. Can you get those dread dreadlocks off your head? Because you look like a damn fool. You really do look like a damn fool. Where is... Oh, they're spending money because they're going to a game. Right. Okay, I remember now. All right. Announce promotion. Got... No, no, go, don't gossip. I don't think she liked the gossiping, so... Share a secret. Oh, he wants to boast about grandchildren to iris i don't teenage babysitter gives a fuck about your grandkids like she's she would rather be at home probably sleeping oh share secrets she don't want no secrets she doesn't like your secrets okay apollo no no i don't know compliment her home i can't even apologize to her i don't know why the gnomes they're alive all right well uh enthusiasm about exercise uh boast about grandchildren i mean her her grandchildren are your grandchildren so okay then i mean they're about to be friends guys like this is gonna be real good this is gonna be juicy these next upcoming parts i'm telling you guys are gonna be hella juicy why can't oh watch players oh they're watching them warm up okay that makes sense to me i was really confused why the game like wasn't going on but now it is i think Maybe it's because I did buy the bug, or no, I used, uh, not buy the bug, I went debug to trigger a game, so they might not actually be able to see a game. I'm hoping they can, but if they don't in like the next 20 minutes, then I'll just have them go back home and like woohoo or some something like that. Um, anyway, okay, so he's gonna ask her if he can sleep over. If she says yes, guys. <laughs> if Shara says yes. Oh, she said no. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awkward. Ooh, I don't know you well enough to say. Bitch, I had three children with you. Are you kidding me? If, if anyone knows you, it's me. <laughs> if anyone knows you, it's me. <gasps> Megan has been sent a deluxe grill. Oh, from the manufacturer for being a celebrity. That's my favorite thing about being celebrities in The Sims is like having... Oh, okay. It's going up very slowly. Damn, they're watching a game at one in the morning. That is hardcore. Okay, you need to go to bed. How How's your relationship with Barrett? Uh... Oh, it's okay. It could be better. You'll hang out with him tomorrow. You gotta go to sleep, though, because it's, like, 1.15 in the morning, and she's, like, a 10-year-old kid, so, yeah. That's why we hired a babysitter, right? Anyway, these two are pillow fighting. He finally completed that wish. Literally, we waited forever. Like, he died and came back to life, and he still had that wish, so he really just wanted to pillow fight with his ex-wife, I guess. All right, he's gonna try really hard to get back with her. Um... She's gonna go to the bathroom, though, because she don't give a fuck, so. Whatever. Why is this taking so long? They're, like, still watching players. That, don't, that doesn't seem right. I'm gonna just have them leave. This is, like, a dumb date, because, obviously, they watch players warm up for, like, an hour, so. Alright, guys. Go home now, please. And thank you. She's just chilling. No, just go home. Just go home. It's too late. It's too late for you. Um, sleep held, paid for a taxi. Who has the car? Do you have the car? Of course, this dumbass has a car. Okay. We got waste more money on taxis. Please and thank you. I love that. Just love that. Okay. Uh, consider attractiveness. How attractive do you find your ex-wife? That's a dangerous, that's dangerous territory, Jupiter. Especially to consider that near her face. Very dangerous territory. Let's see. Um, 10 out of 10. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, can I sleep over? Let's try that. <laughs> let's try it one more time, shall we? And in the meantime, let's have these two do a little bit of risky woohoo just to finish off their date. Um, so, reminder to future Maddie, don't use debug menu with master controller to initiate a game because it glitches up and takes like hours and hours and hours to complete so, like probably they would have probably been in there for like 15 hours oh evelyn said yes evelyn said yes to the date guys or not date <laughs> sorry i got a little bit ahead of myself to the sleepover oh manny's here hey manny um manny is jupiter and uh evelyn's child so 
where is i guess i'm taking the bed i'm taking the spot with, i mean i was gonna woohoo with evelyn but oh he she, he can't even do that you know what why don't you try and woohoo with your ex-wife let's see if that's really what she's here for let's see oh my god she accepted it holy fuck she accepted it oh my gosh wait did you guys shower woohoo oh they did they just got the shower okay perfect and the day right there that's a perfect day for me you got my number right i look forward to hearing from you okay go use the toilet and then go to sleep perfect oh my gosh i cannot believe she just accepted the woohoo i cannot believe that right now i am as shook as you guys are i mean poor manny she she gonna hear some shit this poor girl gonna hear some shit right now <laughs> Um, she gonna hear her mom and her dad getting back together because guys it's on like Jupiter and Evelyn's relationship oh baby is it on more now than ever um, and with that I think I'm gonna end this episode right here uh, that was surely fun I had a good time um, so are they like oh cold shower from cheap shower you know, I'm just gonna leave he got what he wanted he got what he wanted. Yep, yeah, now she's going to go sleep on the couch, which is weird because she's living with her daughter, so I feel like they should be better friends. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm having Jupiter go home, though. Uh, you know, to his nice fluffy bed back at Megan and Soleil's house. Um, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this right here. <laughs> this part and the last part are, like, the most fun episodes. I have had had recording i should say uh in a very long time so i hope you did enjoy and had as much fun as i did this type of content is why i love playing this fucking game like these twisted storylines where fucking evelyn is dating her 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 daughter-in-law's little brother like what the fuck kind of gross shit is that i don't even know um i'm gonna leave it there though guys i hope you Okay, now Francis is going with Yolanda Shaw. So is Evelyn not dating Francis? No, she's not. So why didn't we get that message? I don't know. I'm gonna end it here with my confusion. Um, I will catch you all in the next one. And peace out, guys.